was Hurricane Carla when it reached the peak of its fury. 170 mile an hour winds send the waters of the Gulf of Mexico crashing into the Texas coast. Houses are literally ripped apart by the fierce winds and in most areas there are very few dry spots. Insurance adjusters say damage will probably total $100 million. Advanced tracking of the storm enabled a half a million people to evacuate to areas out of the path of Carla. Sections of the Louisiana coast on the Gulf were also hit hard by the raging storm. Carla was one of the most powerful hurricanes on record and also the most carefully studied in history. But all is not over when the stormy lady exits. Its ferocity generates a tornado at its heels, adding to the devastation already embedded in the minds of people. Floodwaters given a boost by the tornado span an area from the Gulf Coast to Illinois. The storm itself is gone, but many roads are closed until the water recedes. What is left is a shambles as far as the eye can see. Slowly, people are returning to what was once a home, realizing the big task in front of them of clearing the rubble and rebuilding and recapturing a life set back by Carla. Facing disease, disrupted utilities, no drinking water, families salvage what is left. Faces tell the grim story. Deaths caused by Carla and the tornado are low, and again, officials credit the excellent tracking and warnings by weather stations. The cleanup job is underway, but the people are ever mindful of another storm brewing in the Atlantic some 1,000 miles east of San Juan. They hope and pray it will navigate a course away from the Gulf and out into the open sea. Rainfall caused by Carla reached 40 billion tons of water in a 300 mile wide area stretching from the Gulf Coast to the Canadian border. Skeletons of what once were bustling communities will soon be removed and life will begin anew. <laughs>